ten songs. <laughs> <laughs> the word featuring is going to be in there. Oh, featuring is very big. <laughs> Fe- featuring is big. And Pitbull. Featuring Pitbull. I don't know who Pitbull is. The featuring Pitbull comes up a couple times in the top ten. Man, this is Spooksville. Going from one to ten. Number one right now is Just the Way You Are by Bruno Mars. My first thought was, is this the same Just the Way You Are that Billy Joel did, you know, in the 80s? Oh, right, right. It, no. Whew, okay. It's, it's awful. Uh, number Comment. two, what, Billy Joel's? No, this one. How does it go? It sounded a lot like a dial tone to me. I could, I could, I I tuned out as soon as it started playing. I was like, what is this piece of shit? Piece of shit. It is a piece of shit. Number two, Love the Way You Lie by Eminem, featuring Rihanna. (laughs) One featuring. Number three, (laughs) Only Girl in the World by Rihanna. So she's actually got two of the top. Featuring Eminem. Nope. (laughs) (laughs) The only one I care about is Teenage Dream by Katy Perry. And for the obvious reason, I think that bitch is hot. At home watching a lot of E. Uh, I would like to be taking a lot of E. <laughs> uh, number five is DJ Got Us Falling in Love by Usher featuring Pitbull. Yeah, that's, that's two features. That's nice. Uh, number six, Dynamite by Teo Cruz. I have no a idea dynamite! what that's all about. Number seven, I Like It by Enrique Iglesias featuring Pitbull. <laughs> Way, way to double up there, Pitbull. It, Enrique has to be relevant by getting some schlub that probably has no talent, <laughs> to, you know, so he can sell a few. Number eight is Just a Dream by Nelly. I've uh, heard of Nelly. Club Can't Handle Me by Flo Rida featuring David <laughs> Guetta. Club Can't Handle Me by Flo Rida. I Four love that. by the way. Four that was another featuring. And then here's the best one. It's number 10. The song is called Like a G6. Far, it's done by... <laughs> Uh, it's Far East Movement featuring Cataracts and Dev. The fact that there's a dude out there calling himself Cataracts, I fucking love that. <laughs> I didn't think it was physically possible, but this both sucks and blows. Okay, so no bands, no real music. It's all hip hop bullshit. Right, no stuff. bands and no actual music. It's- well, R&B seems to dominate. So, like, basically, the whole younger generation, it's all, they've been, like, blackified or whatever. Hey, you're that crazy cracker from up on the hill. I don't know if I necessarily agree with you in the fact that I do think there is good music out there. There's always good music out there, but it's not what sells, it's not what's popular. But the thing was, all that shit sounds pretty much the same. All ten of them, basically, are the same. Where before, it'd be, you know, the Gap Band would be on there, and then Prince might be on there, and then there'd be a couple of the boy bands. You know what I'm saying? It was a much more diverse right. group of even pop. I mean, you know, okay. yeah, I mean, yeah, I never was a big top 40 guy, but it was like there was always two or three songs in it, like a U2 song that would be mixed with the. The <laughs> saddest part about it, too, is all that music you could probably make with like GarageBand on a Mac. You know, I mean, it's not like well, somebody's blowing your the, mind away, you know, that's the it, saddest part. There's no talent. It's it's crap. It, like it, you're saying you can do on our own. And that means it ain't that great. That's, you know that's the music like, I like is stuff that I feel I could never do that in a million years but if i hear a song where i'm like you know i could think i could come up with that in a day if i had to what part of this sucks my ass do you not understand all that is is they come up with a simple beat and come up with some sort of hook and, and i'm sick of these dime store rhymes it's like third grade shit i mean it's it's not you know and, and people say oh it's so meaningful or something and i'll listen to it you know i try to give it a fair shake and it's like no it ain't it's, it's... <laughs> like you says Life ain't nothing but bitches that money. When are they going to end the, uh, you know, I want money, bitches, and cars thing? They're I mean, never going to end How many times that. can we do it? I got to say, it's it's just like country, though. You know what I mean? Country's got that yes. same gig going on where, you know, it's the same song. But but I still say it's more music, and, and yeah, I still it, make it, fun of it. Definitely, but it's definitely. But, you know, and, and in the video, you're going to have an eagle in the background, a little flag <laughs> waving, you know, like a waving flag. Clothes. You know, a couple jets going by, and then me, like, with a 10-gallon hat and a bunch of white face on. I'm a serious musician. I'm not some TV personality. But why can't you be both? Look at those goofy bastards on Hee Haw. I do love Hee Haw. So okay. ten, 10 years ago this week. Okay. Number one, music by Madonna. I hate Madonna. Oh, it's a chatty, misshapen thing devoid of life. This song, actually, I thought was pretty. That was a good song. song. That was a good song. I like that song. I hated her in the 80s, but I don't hate her now. Oh, no, I hate her more now. It's like that. The the British accent means she needs to be shot. She's from Pontiac, man. Okay, number two, (laughs) Give Me Just One Night 
by 98 degrees. So there's your boy Bannon. Right. Yep. Doesn't really matter by Janet Jackson. But for some reason, she was just calling herself Janet. So that must have been when Michael was on trial for all the molestation. <laughs> yeah, and the I Jackson guess. name got sullied. <laughs> so she didn't want to be associated anymore. Michael Jackson, the first man to clone himself, is now suing himself for molesting himself. Jumpin' Jumpin' by Destiny's Child by Beyonce. Beyonce jumped yep. out of there and uh and i have to say this i remember seeing a destiny's child video when they first came out because they were being hyped really hard and i do remember watching it going well those two on the end sort of blow but that chick in the middle's hot if nothing else i can pick out titties <laughs> but th but there you go she's big in music because she's good looking not she because can, she, she could sing doing, you know, here's yeah, the thing though she's, she's not bad for, no, sorry for so damn stupid she, I've seen her on talk shows because I'm so out of touch, but she's one, and I think she's very hot, too, and I listen to her. And she seems awful nice, honestly, but she's so pathetically dumb. I mean, that girl is just she's... not right. She is a dim bulb. And I'm telling you, I came out of it like feeling sorry for her. I'm like, I don't care how rich she is and how good looking. She's just dull. And that's <laughs> just where we differ because I'm thinking, well, she was smart enough to be born hot, so she's got to be... <laughs> <laughs> You're giving her some credit there. I am giving her credit because I think she's. Exceptional. You should be banging her mother, dude, <laughs> or her father. I don't know. Well, if it gets me to her and her money, then whatever. <laughs> Line them up. Hey, baby, you are the most special girl in the world. You go where I'm gonna take you. <laughs> I'll put on some nice adult contemporary music to set the mood. Perhaps a little Zemphir. That's right. The pan flute is baby. <laughs> I want to bring you to the next level, baby. Imagine my tiny body crawling all over you, boo. <laughs> Feel me snake my way all up inside and through you. You like that, don't you? So don't be afraid. It won't hurt much. <laughs> okay, number five, Kryptonite by Three Doors Down, which... A shitty band, but at least an actual band. A band. Right. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's one band. Woo. Here we go. There's a couple now. Hello. No Bent. featurings. No nope. featurings. No yet. featurings yet. Uh, <laughs> Bent by Matchbox 20. Again, shitty band, but at least a band. Right. Number seven, Incomplete by Cisco. Cisco was the thong Ooh, song. I, yeah, I thought that that's guy. that's all I knew about him. Now, here's what actually <laughs> caught my attention, because one of the things I was going to say is, you're not going to find any people from today's list on a year, one from 10 years ago. Oh. Eminem. Nope, it's actually Nelly. Hot Shit Country Grammar by uh, Nelly. Number t uh, nine is Come Over Baby by Christina Aguilera. And then number 10 is With, with Arms Wide Open by Creed. Uh, so what you're seeing is at okay. least 10 years ago, there was a little bit more. Almost of half and half. I right, mean. a little bit more of a mixture. What in the hell's diversity? <clears throat> well, I, I could be wrong, but I believe uh, diversity is an old, old wooden ship that was used during the Civil War era. That's right. All the bands on that list were shitty. Oh, awful. So you were so it was already right. it was already going that way. You know what I mean? Well, like, well, wait a minute. Maybe that's part of the problem. They were like shoving <laughs> shitty bands down our throat, and it just kind of killed it. That was the problem. White white boys had nothing to listen to. You know, they were just three doors down and creep. Right, like this this oh. shit sucks. You know, uh, most of the people who support this thing don't realize that uh, you guys suck. 1990. This week in 1990. Yeah. This this might be my favorite one of all time. Can't live without your love. By Nelson. Beautiful, beautiful girl hair. It really, really was. Number two, <laughs> Close to You by Maxie Priest. No idea. Number three, Release Me by Wilson Phillips. Now, Wilson, oh. uh, they were shit. Here's one for my sister. Number four, Blaze of Glory by John Bon Jovi. Number I five, don't know that song. <laughs> uh, number five, Praying for Time by George Michael. Something happened on the, I think it's, it's cut off. So something happened on the wall by Phil Collins. No clue. Nope. Uh, do Me by Belle Biv DeVoe. Ah, Belle Biv DeVoe. They were pretty cool. <laughs> I am noticing some consistency here. I don't know any of this fucking shit from any decade. Well, I certainly Belle know Belle Biv DeVoe. Biv DeVoe. You got it. I know the name for sure. I, I don't know any of their songs, but uh, I poison. definitely know Belle Biv DeVoe. Do you remember that Poison song? Well, that's from that album. Yes, Do, Do Me is from the Poison album. I like how well-versed Jet is in the Negro <laughs> spirituals. Yeah. <laughs> For viewers sensitive to issues of race, be advised that the following piece contains gratuitous use of the N-word. Okay, num number eight, Thieves in a Temple by The Artist. Is that Prince? It's the, right, The Artist. Uh, uh -huh. Oh Girl by Paul Young. <laughs> Whatever. 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 Sure, you guys. Whatever. Whatever. And My, My, My by Johnny Gill.
Now, Johnny Gill, I believe, was actually from one of those Boys to Men. Or oh, really? It was Boys to Men. I think I'm, I'm pretty sure you're right. Yep. Even that shitty music, though, in the 80s, like Belle Biv DeVoe and stuff, wasn't about drugs and whores and money. And it yeah, was yeah. fun, at least. You know right. what I mean? But to me, it's the same simple, repetitive, boring That's bullshit. The and me. now like, what you're like seeing is... When is it going to end? Or, or when are they going to stop saying it's the best thing in the world? I just, I just would have thought they would have lost patience with it by now. But it, even how stupid they are. Exactly. But the chart that I just read was from 1990. So, and it's still half and half with that type of music. So it's been dominating for. Okay, we're at 20 years now. I guess that's why old dudes are like all cranky and stuff. They're like, back in my day, you'd hardly ever get wood. <laughs> all right, we're back another 10. Now it actually gets what we would consider better. Okay, it's still not. <laughs> <We would consider. laughs> and all these other people, yeah, you can fucking morons, man. <laughs> okay, so number one in nineteen this week in nineteen eighty, upside down by Diana Ross. All right, actually know the song. Don't care for it much, but upside know the song. Upside down. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know that one. Number two, All Out of Love by Air Supply. Every <laughs> that song. See, Air Supply was like the Flo Rida of the of the seventies. <laughs> <laughs> Air Supply featuring Flo Rida. <laughs> Number three, and this is where it gets fun. Another One Bites the Dust by Queen. Ooh, yeah. Okay, now what you're seeing, this is the first decade that we're seeing a true mix. Because listen to the rest of this list. Give Me the Night by George Benson. That's a good mm-hmm. old school uh-huh. R&B song. That's, that's yep. a good song. Number five, Looking for Love by Johnny Lee. It's a country song. Yep, so you got a country song. Yeah, so you're really getting a mix there. Okay, number six, Late in the Evening by Paul Simon. Again, good song singer, songwriter yeah. type. Yeah. Uh, Driving My Life Away by Eddie Rabbit. Considered a country song. It was poppy country, but it was still a country song. But that's the mm-hmm. second in the top there's, ten. See, there's quite a variety. It's a there. variety, exactly. The next one, Fame by Irene Cara. Okay, Fame right. from the soundtrack from the movie. The movie was mm-hmm. One in a Million You by Larry Graham. Soft R&B crap. And then I'm All Right by Kenny Loggins. There's a lot of uh, <laughs> badness in the world today. I see it in court every day. I've sentenced boys younger than you to the gas chamber. Didn't want to do it, felt I owed it to them. The most important decision you can make right now is where do you stand for, Danny? <clears throat> Goodness or badness? So what's funny is I know about half of those songs. I got to go how far back? 80, 90, 30 years. 1980. <laughs> Only 30 years. So that's not bad, man. Oh, it plays records and eight tracks? This thing's like right out of the future. Now let's go back to 1970. 1970, number one, strangely enough, Ain't No Mountain High Enough by Diana Ross. So that's, <laughs> so that's, that's 10 years that's, later, she had the number one song. That's huh? she was two, ass. two decades in a row. Good, good job. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Good okay. Job. Actually, this is awesome. War by Edwin Starr was number two. All right. That's actually cool. Thumbs up. Yeah. Uh, love that song. Long As I Can See the Light by Creedence Clearwater Revival was number Gotta two. be good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Looking Out My Back Door by Creedence. Actually, both those Creedence yeah. songs were at number three. Uh, number four is Patches by Clarence Carter. That's, a, again, a, a 70s kind of R&B, slow R&B type of thing. Uh, number five, Julie, Do You Love Me by Bobby Sherman. Bobby Sherman <laughs> charted in 1970. Cracklin' Rosie by Neil Diamond. I've always kind of liked Neil Diamond. Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah he's Neil one Diamond of them. a thumbs up. Okay, so number seven, Candida by Tony Orlando. Now, okay. why Dawn isn't getting any play here, I don't know. Uh, Snowbird by Anne Murray. And then I Know I'm Losing You by Rare Earth, which, phenomenal That's song. a good song. I phenomenal know. song, yeah. I want to say something. I want to put it out there. If you like it, you can take it. If you don't, send it right back. You know, I, I think the good music is out there, but it's a much more of a struggle with rock. The money's just not there because nobody's really supporting it. It is a niche. It's a big niche, though, you know? Yeah, those poor ex-cons, they really can't catch a break, can they? 